So for years, I've been trying to find a variety of squash that are squash vine borer resistant. Uh, you know, zucchini and yellow squash, they get eaten alive by the stuff. But uh, this year, I tried, uh, I'm trying zu zucchino rapicante, which I guess means rampant zucchini in Italian. And it is true, it is rampant. It, uh, it was, gosh, it grows so fast. And then uh, I heard that Korean zucchini is squash vine borer resistant. So let's go take a look and see. So this right here is a Korean zucchini. You know, it's of the species or whatever you want to call it, um, curcubita moshata, which means it's um, similar to a butternut squash. And you can see that it has gotten eaten alive by squash vine borers, but uh, it's still budding some fruit and the plant itself is not looking too bad. So that's good. All right, this one looks really bad. That thing is just devastated by them eating alive. But the plant, and again, this is Korean zucchini. The plant, it looks halfway decent. See, it's still green. And it is producing some fruit right there. I gotta harvest that one in a few days. But my whole row, this was supposed to be a whole row of Korean zucchini. I got some. This was a pumpkin plant that somehow got mixed in. I don't know if I got them mixed up or if the seeds were mixed up, but it's dying. And here's another Korean zucchini. Still bearing fruit. And there's the stem right there, eaten alive. So I would say that it's resistant. You know, it's not, not taking them out like it does zucchini and yellow squash. Actually, zucchini, if you keep keep burying the stem, um, if you keep burying the stem in topsoil and kind of stay ahead of the squash borers, then the zucchini plant will put down new roots and it'll uh, survive that way. Uh, all right, so that one, still alive, looking pretty good. And then this one right here, it's eaten alive at the stem, but it's still producing fruit and it still looks pretty good. So I'm gonna say Korean zucchini is, a, is good. And this is my row of rapicante. Goodbye, stink bug. All right, so some of it's starting to yellow a little bit, but overall, it still looks good and it's still producing fruit. It's uh, late May here. So I don't know how much longer these things are gonna produce. But nice thing about zucchini rapicante, they taste really good, like a, taste like a, a good zucchini. Um, and you can, uh, when you eat them smaller, they're nice and tender. But when they get bigger, they start hardening off like a butternut squash. So those will be like a winter squash. So that's kind of cool. First year I've, I've grown these zucchino rapicantes. I'm very, very pleased with them. I had one that I shredded and put in the freezer. It was uh, over three feet long. It's a gargantuan. So these things grow really big. So just for grins, I planted uh, Semin Seminole squash this year because I, I think it's kind of cool that the uh, Seminole Indians here in Florida used to uh, plant these at the base of a tree and then the squash would trellis up the tree. Um, there, there is a, hey, look at there. It's a uh, osprey. So this is another Seminole squash and I'm planting it or planted it at the base of my Saturn peach tree. And this, uh, I was worried that I was gonna lose this peach tree because we had a hard freeze early in the year last year or late, I guess, early in the winter, late in the year, December before Christmas. And it did a lot of damage. It uh, killed a bunch of my citrus. My uh, or, uh, grapefruit tree was damaged. And then my tangerine tree was really, that's all that's left of it, one, one branch. But hopefully they'll come back. All right, another Seminole squash or Seminole pumpkin. 
try to get it to grow up my magnolia tree, but it wants to stay on the ground, so that's fine. I'll just I'll just train it to go around and around and around. Hey pups. So these are Puerto Rican pumpkins known as I think also Calabasas or something like that. But this was I, mean, I just had too many seedlings, so I'm like, what the heck? Let me plant them over here and see how they do. So they're doing they're pretty good. I had a problem with squash uh will blossom in right so i lost a lot of them but i fixed that with some gypsum fast acting gypsum <clears throat> right in the soil right there but anyway these are doing pretty well i gotta water them every day or they wilt let's see where's my biggest pumpkin here let's see i think that's it right there it's about eight inches in diameter. I told you they were rampant, rampant uh, zucchini. So this vine here grows all the way over to, I think it originated in this raised bed right here. So they do grow all over the place. So they're on the ground. They're growing up my clumping bamboo. So I was super, super pleased with uh, with how this did, uh, as far as growing and producing fruit. Um, now this one has been attacked by squash vine borers, but they're not attacking the base of the squash. They're attaching, they're uh, attacking the the di in, you know, individual leaves. So I mean, that's okay, because we can afford to lose some, some leaves. I mean, there's probably a squash vine borer in there. Sorry, I'm trying to film one-handed, but uh, they seem to be leaving the the stems fairly intact. I don't see a whole lot of damage, but even so, there I do see some frass, but not a whole lot. Like this one's, I believe, fairly untouched. There's some frass right there, but overall, it still looks pretty healthy. So check this out. Here's where it started and it goes all the way over here. And uh, it's growing up my tomatoes. Here's a nice one. It's hanging on to my bamboo, but I like these. So all the seeds are in here and you can cut it here and shred this, and make you some zucchini fritters. They're delicious. All sorts of recipes online. This right here, you can uh, take the seeds out, cut it in half, roast it like an acorn squash. It's uh, really good. These are tasty. I, I grew, um, uh, what do you call the darn things? Uh, Kakuzis for a few years and they, they grew just as prolifically, but they really didn't, well, they had an okay flavor. It's a little bit bland, but they had no nutritional value. So uh, I'm assuming that these, these squash uh, are healthy for you or have some least calories and vitamins. So, but anyway, they're doing pretty good. Another one down there. That's where I can make an alphabet out of the different shapes that they uh, they take when they fall when they grow on the ground. But man, welcome to the jungle, the Zucchino Repicante jungle.